We've cleaned up the handle and um, I've taken the blade up to 180 on the belt grinder. This side looking pretty good. I made a couple of mistakes there and down this side. Um, so I'm going to stop there and I'm going to go um, hand sanding. Uh, so I should be able to clean this up really nicely with hand sanding. So uh, I'm going to get some lunch and then hopefully get on with that this afternoon. I might need to make a new jig because this is nice a bit big for my hand sanding jig. Anyway, there it is. So the blade actually fits quite nicely on there. I'm using kitchen cleaner now, grapefruit flavour, because it smells a lot nicer than the window stuff. And uh, yeah, works just as well. Got my sandpaper, got my little samurai man watching over me. See you in a few hours. About an hour in, hand sanding. I haven't even got a 40 grit, so gone through a fair bit of 40 grit. Um, it's well worth putting the hours in now, or hour, or half an hour of its small blade, whatever it is, on the on the your lowest grit. Get everything out, um, blending everything together. So it looks all good. I'm going to take a break now. I'm sweaty, I'm hot. I'm going to go and walk the dog. Um, my hand is also like a claw. It's very hard on the hands, fingers. So take a quick break and I will be back to do some more. Bailey, should you go for a walk? Should we? Okay. I've spent about an hour now, probably over an hour on um, 80 grit going this way trying to get all of the 40 grit marks out I don't know if you'll see them so I've highlighted them a little marker pen where I need to keep going, I'm getting pretty close but I need to keep going um, so when you're hand sanding you get a lot of time to think and one of the things you I think about is how how bad my hand sanding setup is, so I did a couple of things to make it better today. Which is, I've actually bolted this to the table and I put it flush to here, so but it was still wobbling that way, so I bolted a piece of wood. Which, you know, it could be a lot better, but it works. I'm also trying the 3 in 1 oil for lubrication, and I think that's working pretty well. Anyway, yeah, uh, I've got to carry on with the 80 grit. Um, trying to up my game a bit with this hand rub finish, so I think I'll just try for a much better finish at a lower grit and see how that does. So I think I'm done with the 80 grit, but I'm just bringing it outside to look if I've got any 40 grit scratches left. Um, going that way. I don't think I do, but I'm going to keep looking. Um, and then I'm going to do one more pass just to make sure, even if I don't find any scratches. Oh, nearly done. Happy with that now. So I'm going to leave 80 grit and I'm going to move up to 120. I'm going to go in this direction. Um, so yeah, that was uh, over an hour and a half on 80, I did over an hour on 40, so over two and a half hours just on one side, and um, I'm not done yet, so ultimately I need to get my grinds better off, off the belt grinder, but having said that, if you started making mistakes on the belt grinder, for me at the moment is best to go hand sanding and you know I can ensure I'm going to get a good product but I have to put the hours in to get it so there we go So 
so that's 120 I'm just back outside to check all the scratches are going going that way okay so I think that looks good I'll keep checking it um, now I've got to decide where I jump to 180 or 220 what's gonna take longer not sure this is a, another sort of upgrade I've been playing around with. Um, it's a piece of angle iron that I cut out and I've got some repositionable spray adhesive and I've been sticking sandpaper onto it like that uh, just to save my fingers holding the uh, sandpaper because when you do that all all the pressure ends up in your fingers, all the weight that you're putting in. Whereas if you're just holding the bar, then, you know, the pressure's in your arms and your wrists, so it's just stronger. And I'm trying to look after my fingers. Anyway, I already think, you know, it's not perfect. And um, I think the next step I'm going to try is buying some um, PSA rolls of sandpaper which I've found but um you know they're about 50 quid a roll 40 30 to 50 quid a roll so um I made a basket with them all in last night but it was like over 200 pounds so yeah I'll do it one day Uh, so this is what I started with, and this is where I'm at now. So I've just gone to 240, and I went straight to 240 from 120, which worked out pretty well. It took about half an hour. So yeah, I really love the result of hand sanding, but I don't massively enjoy the process. Uh, so I was pretty much just less than four hours just on this one side and I've still got this side to go. Hopefully I've learnt a bit and this side will go faster. This side doesn't actually have any mistakes off the grinder. I might go back to the grinder and try and make sure there's absolutely no 40 grip scratches in there. Because there definitely is. And yeah, I'm going to try and make myself, my life a little bit easier hand sanding, but who knows. Um, yeah, there we go, that's how it looks. Well, there's no uh, instant gratification with hand sanding. But I've got this side pretty much done. I will give both sides another final go over. This is the other side. I've got. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I've got a couple of scratches up there from the knife going like that when I was hand sanding the other side. But I'm happy. It's close. Getting there. That's my logo there on Silhouette Studio. I've just printed it out. Um, and here it is. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I've just peeked it out. I'm going to put on some. Not focusing. Put on some transfer tape. And now I'm going to stick on the knife. Got the blade all taped up. 
So I'm just going to show you uh, what it's like to work in a small workshop that's also your garage. Um, I have got things fairly well set up over the last year, but ultimately it's not perfect and it's still my garage so stuff gets shoved in here and now I can't find the little tool that I use to mark my the logo on my blade, the electro etching tool. So I've got everything set up except for that. So uh, here's a little workshop chore, how I wouldn't want to show it probably. Got all my belt hung up, <coughs> got my grinder there, all the attachments, all the wheels, uh, got bits of wood drying under there. There's the tumble dryer. Got loads of crap up there, tools, and the stuff, wood, bicycle, chop saw, loads of crap packed into the garage. I've got loads of stuff on the floor. Over there, I've got my, like my sharpening station, the buffing wheel, all covered up, and then heat treatment others covered up. Metal cutting bandsaw. Sandpaper, this wood cutting bandsaw, drill press, drill bits, loads of clamps, some knife blanks. Here yeah, I'm, I'm set up ready to etch, but I can't find this, the bit. Uh, I've got all my tools. Uh, so I generally try and put everything back where I found it, where, where it lives. And uh, over the last year or so, it's got a lot better and I generally I'm not doing what I'm doing right now which is wandering around in circles wondering whether this thing is even in here or if it's in the house somewhere and it is one thing I haven't uh, given myself a defined place where I put it so I've checked where I think it should be I've checked where I think I should have put it and I'm just going to keep looking. <laughs> I found it right, right away then. It's only wasted 10 minutes. Here it is. A bit dirty. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's going to be one of those days, but I've got this working now. Uh, the battery charger wasn't... wasn't turning on. Oh, does it stop now? Oh god, maybe it is going to be one of those days. Crap. Oh, it's working again now. But I'm not quite sure why it was cutting out. Anyway, I just took some power from inside. Just in case there's something going on out here. Anyway, hopefully we'll get there. Okay, so it took about five minutes. I can see a bit of water's got through. <clears throat> I'll have to sand that off. Okay, yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Um, I'll sand the whole blade again and that'll um, get that logo looking more crisp. So I've just washed it with hot soapy water uh, to neutralise the reaction. You could use bicarb or something like that. And now um, probably going to sort the handle scales out <coughs> before I do the final sanding on the blade. Bit of elbow grease and the scales are flat. 
I sort of marked out where I wanted the blade and um, the tang of the knife to go and now I've got it clamped up <coughs> I've got a sacrificial bit of ply underneath to prevent like breakout and now I'm going to drill the holes so I've got it all set up on the one, two, three blocks under there I'm ready to drill so I've drilled my holes, made my pins and I cut out the knife scales on the bandsaw so next step I'm going to clean up this front edge and then I'm going to put an angle on it and get that sanded and buffed to the final finish before I glue up and I'm also going to start drilling holes on the inside of the scales for like pockets for the glue to sit in and then uh, I should be ready for glue up Okay, so re sanded this side of the blade. Logo is looking nice and crisp, so I need to flip and do the other side. Um, I've got this it's hand sanded up to 2,500 grit. I'm going to take it and buff it in a second. So as I said, I went up to 2,500 grit and then I've buffed it. So that's looking nice. Um, so inside of the scales, I've drilled out little pocket holes for the glue and then I've just given another light rub on the surface plate just to take off any any bits of wood that are sick enough. So, um, yeah, unless I've forgotten anything, I think we're ready for glue up. I am about ready to glue up now. So I've keyed up all the surfaces. I've got all my stuff ready to go. I'm just going to clean down every single surface before I start. And then I'll do the glue up. All glued up now, just been cleaning up this part. Oh, out of focus. There we 
there we go i'm gonna leave this video here so i hope you've enjoyed watching uh, give us a like and subscribe if you want to see any more cheers